Good air Shabbos to you all, and I hope you're well. Happy Friday, everybody. Mazel Tov this week. Mazel Tov to Daniela and Robert Joseph on Max's Bar Mitzvah at Croxdale. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Candice and Anthony Liffman on Ethan's Bar Mitzvah at Yavna. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Lindsay and Jeremy Weiser and grandmother Lucy Levy on Natalia's Bar Mitzvah this evening at Yavna. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Michelle and Daniel Brick on Eliana's Bat Mitzvah on Sunday at Croxdale. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Angela and Barry Reese on their grandson Asher Jacobs Bar Mitzvah. Mazel Tov. Son to their daughter Annabelle and Jonathan Weisbart in Golders Green. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Gillian and David Assel on Oliver's Ufruf. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Avi Goodman, the BES Marketing and Events Administrator on her brother Yoam's Ufruf and upcoming wedding. Oh, Mazel Tov, Avi. Mazel Tov to anyone else who has a birthday, anniversary or any other simcha in the coming week. Mazel Tov. We wish for a to anyone who's unwell and long life to Emma Debson on the sad loss of her father, Anthony Marks, mm. and anyone else observing a yacht site in the coming week. Wish you long life. Some shout outs this week. Shout outs. Okay. To Rebecca and Shimon Elliman on their wedding last Sunday. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Um, to, my, to my good old friend and colleague, Rabbi Yehuda Ronowitz and family, it was lovely to see you at Simcha recently. Shout out to you. Uh, shout out to Tammy and Ben Asso on their son's Brit this oh, week. Oh, Mazel Tov. Leo Kobe. Very, very cute. Very, gorgeous cute. baby. Gorgeous. <laughs> Lots of knuckles to David and Gillian as well. And um, shout out to Jane Rose on her retirement from being a GP. You know, they say a doctor can never retire. They just lose their patience. <laughs> Can I roll my eyes at that one? Please do. Okay, let's move on uh, swiftly. Can I do one more oh, yes. shout yes, out yes, to Fiona and Anne Gradell oh, on yes. their baby's bris and upcoming pigeon hub ends. Yeah, Mazel Tov. That's Mazel really Tov. special. Yeah, that's as well, isn't it? Mazel yeah. Tov. Oh, wonderful. Only to have simple because fab fabulous. Okay, so this week, uh, early candle lighting on Friday is at 7.45. Um, Croxdale and Elstree, Minicha, Follow Kabach, Shabbat and Marev is at 7.15. And it's 7 o'clock at Yavna. Please support one of our three services. Shacharit on Shabbat morning at Croxell is at 9.30. There's also Limud at Croxell at 9.30. And Shacharit at Yavna also at 9.30. And Mincha on Shabbat afternoon, followed by the Summer Suda series in con- conjunction with Bormud Kolel, uh, looking at Torah in the modern world. This week's subject is Loshan Horror and leaving negative reviews on social media. Is it allowed or not? Mm, well, we'll find out. That's nine o'clock at Suda, Mincha, followed by Suda and the Shir, and nine o'clock at Croxdale, and at Yavan, uh, Mincha is also at nine o'clock, followed by Suda and Shir, and Shabbat ends at 10 26. It's getting earlier. <laughs> one minute two, this week. One, minute, one, or one, two one or two minutes, minutes this week, yes. <laughs> okay, let me just share a quick idea with you. I'll share this story with you from one of my favourite books, so that Stephen Covey's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's one of my favourite stories. The story goes like this. Two battleships assigned to the training squadron had been at sea on manoeuvres in heavy weather for several days. I was serving on the lead battleship, and not me, obviously, the person in the story, and I was on watch on the bridge as the night fell. The visibility was poor with patchy fog, so the captain remained on the bridge, keeping an eye on all activities. Shortly after dark, the lookout on the wing of the bridge reported, light bearing on the starboard bow. Is it, is it steady or moving astern? The captain called out. Lookout replied, steady, captain, which meant we were on a dangerous collision course with that ship. The captain then called to the signalman, signal that ship. We are on a collision course. Advise you change course 20 degrees. Back came a signal. Advisable you change course 20 degrees. The captain said, send I'm a captain, change course 20 degrees. I'm a seaman second class, came the reply. You had better change course 20 degrees. By this time, the captain was furious. He spat out, send I'm a battleship. Change course 20 degrees. Back came the flashing light. I'm a lighthouse. We change course. <laughs> Always reminds me of Korach. Korach, we know, uh, um, set himself on a dangerous collision course with Moshe Rabbeinu and God himself. He was advised by his wife not to go down that route. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't listen. He couldn't change course. And it's a lesson to all of us that sometimes we set off on a path which is not quite re- correct for us. We should be brave enough and wise enough to know when to change course and not collide with a lighthouse. See the lights out there, hear the message. And to listen to your wife. Absolutely, always listen to your wife. And on that note, <laughs> we both wish you Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom.